Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Art in Storytime. I'm Lindsay Urban, the director of the Arts Institute for Middlesex County. And today, as usual, we are joined by our friends at the Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. Uh, please set your screens to speaker view. And if you wish to remain anonymous, please keep your camera off. We are recording today's event and you'll be able to view it at middlesex.gov. Um, so today, as well as the rest of the month, we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. And um, we're really excited to bring you some really fun um, stories. And so today's story is really special and it is written by a really special person. And maybe we'll let um, Mr. Sean speak a little bit about who that is and why she's special or Miss Sarah. Oh, yeah. that's fun. Um, but it's a it's a really cool awesome. book and we're, we're just really excited to share it with you. And so the reader today that we have is um, pre-recorded. So she she recorded the reading along with her daughter. So you're going to see a, a young person as well as an adult reader. Um, and then we'll so we'll, we'll play that recording for you so you can hear the book. And then we'll come back on and we'll talk a little bit more about it and we'll do the activity, but it's going to be really fun. I think you're going to love it. And she's really, the reader that we had is really a, a very special guest. Um, and we can talk about a little bit what she does in her job um, after, after she's done reading too. So we're excited to see you all. And thank you for joining us. And now I'm going to pass it over to Mr. Sean Hewitt, who's the Director for Youth Leadership at the Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you, Miss Lindsay. Glad to be here. Very excited to hear the book for today. Um, as, may, as mentioned, my name is Sean Hewitt. I'm Director of Youth Leadership at the Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. And the Civic League is a nonprofit organization dedicated to serving uh, underrepresented youth and families in the Greater New Brunswick community. Um, I, I will just give, I guess, my connection to the author, uh, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Santamayor. Um, that she's from the Bronx and um, she grew up in the Bronx. She is, uh, and as a, I have a connection to New York, not only through my parents who were in Brooklyn, but my wife is from the Bronx and went to the same high school. Um, and so there is one, when um, Justice, Sonia Santamayor was um, appointed, there was a big to do, not only in the Bronx, but even at my house. And so that type of success and connection spans across cultures. And I think that's what speaks to um, the, the importance of celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month in any cultural month so that we can learn the bridges between cultures. And we at the Civic League celebrate that and celebrate um, all the accomplishments of Hispanic Heritage Month and are, are pleased to partner with the Art Institute of Middlesex County to bring that to you. So I'm gonna pass it over to Miss Sarah, who is going to uh, intro the author and I think give some more information um, about uh, the book today. Miss Sarah? Yes, thank you, Mr. Sean. That was wonderful. Um, that was a great introduction. I didn't even know that you had such a deep connection to Justice Sotomayor before, before this conversation. So thank you for sharing. Um, I, uh, well, I think I'm just going to screen share the reading because I don't really have much more to say about Justice Sotomayor other than I think that she's super special because she also went to the university or college at Princeton University, which is in New Jersey. Right. Oh, I see Maya like fangirling over there. Um, so that's very special. So, you know, the, and I don't know if you all know what Supreme Court justices do, but they're part of our government and they, uh, you know, make really important decisions about our country. Right. So um, I think social justice, uh, Supreme Justice Sotomayor was, I think, the second uh, Latina woman to be voted, if not the first woman to be voted into or to be chosen to be in the Supreme Court. Um, so that's also why we chose her to be the reader for this month, because it's Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to share screen the book, um, share screen the video. And you're gonna I want to see the lady who's reading or just an audio. 
we're going to see the video of like a recording. So it's like, it's pretty much like it is every week. You're going to see my face too. <laughs> there I am. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> Okay, Zuli, so we're getting ready to read the book. You ready? Okay. Uh, but... All right. Just oh. Ask by Sonia Sotomayor. Oh. Be different, be brave, be you. Hi, I'm Sonia. My friends and I are planting a garden. Gardens are magical places. Thousands of plants bloom together, but every flower, every fairy, and every leaf is different. Each has a different smell, different color, different shape, and different purpose. Some flowers need lots of sunshine. Others thrive in the, sh in the shade. Some have to be trimmed regularly, while others are better off left alone. Some trees and flowers are more fragile, and others are more hardy. Kids are all different too. Some of us are in a hurry and others take more time. Some of us seem shy and quiet while others are chatty and loud. Some of our differences are easy to spot. Others take longer to notice. Each of us grows in our own way. So if you are curious about other kids, just ask. Yeah. Not everyone is comfortable answering questions about themselves, but I don't mind. What am I doing several times a day? I prick my finger to measure the sugar in my blood and I give myself shots of medicine called insulin. You see what she's doing? Yeah, the shots. <laughs> what is on there now? Yes, so we're looking at the book. I'm showing you that she's giving herself a shot right there. You see? I know. Now put it back. Okay, we're back. Okay. Now put it back here. Okay, hold on. Uh, now down there. Okay, here we yeah. go. Now we're back. Okay, so she has to do this because she has diabetes. Yeah. And her body doesn't make insulin naturally like other people. Did you know our new friend has, has uh, He has to give himself shots at school? Sometimes he has to go to the doctor. Oh. Because he has disease. Oh, okay. What? Okay, well, we'll learn about his, his illness, okay? Okay, well. Even though this can sometimes hurt, I gather all of my courage to do it, to do it to be healthy. Do you ever need to take medicine to be healthy? No. I think you take medicine, Zuli. Mm -hmm. He does. His name is Rafael and he has asthma, which means that sometimes he has trouble breathing. When that happens, he has to take a break and use an inhaler with medicine to make breathing easier. Quiet time helps him slow down and catch his breath. You see his inhaler right here, Zuli? Yeah. He says that my inhaler is like a tool to help my body. Do you use a tool to help your body? No. I'm Anthony. Do you see Anthony, Zuli? And I use a wheelchair to get around. Even though I can't run with my legs, I can go super fast. Where's Anthony, Zuli? Yeah, this one's Anthony. How do you get from place to place? On a scooter? Or do you walk and run? Yeah. A scooter. And you're fast like Anthony? Because uh -huh. he's fast. Okay. My name is Madison, and my guide dog, Lucky, helps me get places safely because I'm blind. Do you see Madison, Zuli? Yep, that's her. My friend Arturo is blind too. He uses a cane to get around. Even though we can't see, we strengthen our other senses and notice lots of details others may miss. 
We can hear with our ears, smell with our noses, and feel with our hands. Which one's Arturo, Zuli? Yeah. Yeah. That's him. How do you use your senses? Inside my head. Mm -hmm. I'm VJ. I learn about the world differently because I can see, but I can't hear. I'm deaf. Most of the time, I communicate with people using my face and hands through sign language. You see him? Yeah, but can you put this here or there? Yeah, we can get rid of the camera, okay? So that way we just look at the book. Oh, I friend. <laughs> okay. I friend this here. All right, so you see Anthony, you see VJ Zuli? VJ right here. You see him using his hands? That's yeah. how he's telling other people what he wants to say with his hands. Yeah, but that's another language. He can't. Uh, please. He can't speak. No, he can't speak or speak. Right. So, okay. So, let's see. It's cool to know another language. I also love reading and writing. What about you? Do you like reading and writing? Only when I have, only when, when I'm at my desk and I think about writing. Something for mommy and dad. Oh, that's nice, Lily. Even I, I like to read at night time. And we like to read to you too. <laughs> what? She laying down. Come on, come on. She oh. is laying down. I'm Bianca, Dad. and I have dyslexia. So I have to work really hard and take my time when I'm reading and writing words. Sometimes I use computer programs to help me. I love learning by doing things. My imagination is full of ideas and I'm very good at making art from the pictures I see in my mind. Do you see what she's doing, Zuli? Yeah. You see the artwork that she's doing? Yeah. Does it look like what she's thinking about? It looks just like what she's thinking about. Oh, there's the same thing. Yeah. Are you really good at something, Zuli? Oh, I can draw a flower. I can draw a sun. Even I can draw a poop. Or I can draw this. Poop, 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 poop. A zigzag. Oh, nice. Or I can draw this. Zoop, zoop. Okay. And just like that. I'm great at dinosaurs. I know all about them. I'm Jordan and I have autism. Organizing and counting all my toy dinosaurs again and again makes me feel calm. My classmate Tiana also has autism, but it's different for her. She doesn't talk, but I like to talk. I especially like to talk about dinosaurs. What do you like to talk about, Zuli? I like to talk about anything that mm. I think about. Including fact, dinosaurs? Including, including hiding dinosaurs. Okay. Including, even including, even including hope and, and superheroes. Okay. Even Wonder Woman, Iron Man, Spider Man, and Okay, but let's continue, okay? For me, listening comes more easily than talking, and I'm a really good listener. My name is An, and I speak with a stutter. So sometimes, so I sometimes repeat a word or get stuck when I try to say it. It may take me a little longer to express myself, and sometimes I'm too shy to talk, but I understand everything that's going on. Where's Anzuli? Yep, that's her. Look. Yeah, everybody's busy. Yeah. Do you ever wonder if people understand you? Oh, oh yeah. You do wonder? Oh yeah. Mm. I do. My name is Julia. 
sometimes I wiggle or make sounds that I can't control because I have Tourette syndrome. People may look at me funny because they think I am not paying attention or just acting out, but it's not true. I'm listening. I don't always like having to explain. It frustrates me, but it helps when I tell people that it's just what my body does. Do you ever feel frustrated? No. <laughs> I talk to other men because, and I talk to you anytime, but sometimes I am frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Manuel, and I have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It is called ADHD. I can get frustrated when I really feel the need to move around, even though I'm supposed to sit still. When my teachers and friends are patient with me, I forget something or get distracted. I can get myself back on track. What's helpful to you? Playing with Adam and my friends. <laughs> I'm Nolan. It's helpful to me when the food I eat has a clear label that says it is nut free because I'm allergic to nuts. They can make me so sick that I would have to go to the hospital if I ate any, even by accident. That's scary. Nuts. We can't. We can't. He's allergic. Look, he's got a squirrel that's giving him a nut. But he can't. So I always tell people about my allergy and ask if any food has nut ingredients. Speaking up keeps me healthy. How do you use your voice? I use my voice like this. Hello. To talk? Yeah. Nice. I love to sing and I love to talk. I love to make new friends and be included. I am Grace. I was born with Down syndrome. Kids like me with Down syndrome have an extra building block called a chromosome in our bodies. But we are all different from each other too. I can do almost anything another, any other kid can do, though learning new things can take some time. One way I learn is to ask questions. What helps you learn, Zuli? Uh, with my school. You ask questions at school? Uh, no, help me learn with my school. Your school helps you learn? Yeah! That's good. That's what we want. Uh, it's me, Sonia. Where's Sonia, Zuli? Sonia is here. Sonia is I think here. She's right. Sonia is here. Yeah, let's let's read. There's Sonia. Okay, let's read. I ask questions too. When something <laughs> seems different or new, I just ask my parents or my teachers, and they help me to understand. Especially if my friends don't feel ready to explain. This is what I've learned. Imagine if all of the plants in the garden were exactly the same. Like, what if we only could grow peas? That would mean no strawberries. Can you imagine that, Zuli? Oh, no. If the garden didn't have strawberries? Oh, no. That's bad. We would need to buy strawberries. Can you imagine if the garden didn't have cucumbers or carrots? Or nothing. It might also mean no trees or roses or sunflowers. Oh, no. Oh, we have to buy all of that. Oh, oh we both buy or nothing. We so just like our garden, all the ways we are different make our neighborhood, our whole world, really more interesting and fun. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I just wanted to do this. And just like all of these plants, each of us has unique powers to share with the world and make it more interesting and richer. What will you do with your powers? Yay. Thank you, everyone. I just want to give, I don't think that we introduced the, the reader before the before we started showing the video. So our reader for that was reading, her name is Miss Letty Kavaness, and they uh, work for the Port Authority, which is like a huge uh, 
company that is, has anyone ever taken the the bus or the train into New York before? I know I have, right? Or a bridge. Ever, has anyone here ever driven a bridge? Yeah. So Miss Letty works for the company that that runs those bridges and those ways of transportation. So we we're very happy. And, and then Zuli, her daughter, was in the video as well. Great. Well, thank you. She's everyone. so cute. She is, right? <laughs> yeah, we love we love Miss Letty and we love Miss Zuli too. We're really lucky to have them on to come on. Um, and one of the things that Miss Letty does in her job too is to make sure that everybody has equal opportunities at work, right? So that that was a really fun story for her to read because that story is about everybody having equal opportunities, no matter what your difference is, right, you still should have lots of opportunities, right? So we're gonna get ready with our art portion today. And um, just like Ms. Letty asked when she stopped the story, she asked us, uh, what are our superpowers? So I want everybody to take a minute and to think about what their own superpowers are. And sometimes when we think about superpowers, we think like, flying through the air or jumping higher than a building or faster than a speeding bullet, right? Like all those kind of things that you hear about superheroes. But I think that we all have superpowers that are about kindness and about being able to make good changes in our community and like things that you do at school that are super. So I think those things are superpowers too. So I want everybody to take a minute before we start before you even gather your art supplies or get out paper or whatever you have, take a minute and maybe close your eyes or just think to yourself, like what are your, what is your most superpower? And then we'll share them. We can go around and we can talk before we start working. Does that sound good? All right. Thank you. Does San Sanvi, do you have one? If somebody has one that they want to share and hold up your hand, your hand, you can tell it. You can tell it. We'll start with Sanvi. Yeah. I want to sew artworks and sew people that I want to be kind. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank I you. love that, Sambi. And I like I like that you can, you're right, your superpower can be shown in your artwork too, right? That's really cool. That's a good idea. That's a great superpower. Mm -hmm. um, Antonia, did you have one? Mm -hmm. Sorry. I saw something with Nancy. What did you say? That I wanted to tell something. Oh, what? I remember was I was when I was eating like at the start. I was eating something that I don't even know where it is from, mommy. And it's on the Oh, okay. Something Colombian. I don't know if you guys know it. Its name is chicharrones. It looked like you were eating chicharrones, but I was like, wasn't sure if I was like dreaming that you were eating chicharrones because. What's chicharrones? I don't know how to say it in English. Chicharron? It's, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> chicharron is like bacon. Does anybody know what bacon is here? Yeah. Um, but like thicker and better. Yeah. 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 I'm jealous that you were eating chicharron. I hope it tastes <laughs> good. Um, Cadence, what did you, what's your superpower? My superpower is probably being kind and being very, very helpful. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Maya, do you have a superpower? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I don't know what my superpower would be. Yeah, Ella, what's, what's yours, Al? Uh, being nice. Being nice. Being nice. Oh, is she your daughter? Nice. This is my daughter. Yeah, this is Eleanor. You want to say hi to everybody? 
Ah, she's so cute. Are you cute? <laughs> you look so adorable. Yeah. There's a little girl in my school. Her, she's in first grade. She's adorable. Ah. You say thank you. Thank you. I miss Ella. <gasps> Who's that? Who is that? Yeah, you can say it loud. Oh, where are my muffins? <gasps> oh, we ate them. <laughs> you ate them. You ate them. Did you eat them? Yeah, we ate them all. Oh no! <laughs> we knew they weren't gonna oh, last. Yeah, I mean, How old is he? How old are you? Three. Three, almost. You're, what are you gonna be though? My my little brother oh. is four years old. Oh yeah, Ella's gonna be four next week. Exciting. My sister's gonna be three tomorrow. <gasps> Happy early birthday, Ella. Yeah. Happy birthday, everyone. Oh, why'd you just call me? Don't do that. That's not nice. That's not nice, Al. <laughs> I don't like that. All right. They say happy early birthday. They say thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, so friends, now we can grab our art supplies if you have them. And if you don't, don't worry about it. But get whatever you have on hand. And we are going to make ourselves our into superheroes. Superhero. I'm in the car, so I can't. That's okay. You're That's all right. Okay. Antonia, you don't have to do it. You can always do it later. You could also just pose. You could make your body into a superhero body. Like show your, show us your superhero pose. I don't think because you yeah. see, there's a bunny here. Oh, look at you. And I'm gonna try to find like a paper. Nope. Yes, Sunby, yeah. What are we supposed to draw? You can draw whatever you want. Um, we're suggesting to draw yourself as a superhero with your superpower. Um, so I know like some people said that they're really, they're very kind. So I got a paper. yeah, you might do, you might draw yourself doing something very kind or you might draw yourself with a great big heart coming out of you. I think I'm gonna draw myself running. There you go, that's a good superpower. Yeah. Who's missing, Mom? Who's missing? I don't think anybody's missing. You see Miss Sarah? Oh, that's Miss Tracy's picture is off. Why? She's hiding. Hiding where? I don't know. Oh, there she is. I was wiping my tears because you ate our muffins. Oh, Miss Tracy's crying. We'll make more. We'll make more? Yeah. Okay, perfect tonight. She's such a cute girl. I want to make cookies. You want to make cookies? Too? I want, no, I, I you want, know, I think your superpower want, would be baking. You like to bake, I right? want to eat one, one of my cookies that we're going to give to my bubble. Oh, okay. um, let's see. No, don't tell her. Okay. I think that my, because I'm hungry, I think Mr. Sean was right. I think that my superpower would be, I really like making salads. Mm. My superpower. My superpower is eating. Eating, yeah. That'd be, that's a great superpower. I love eating, but literally, it's not really like my superpower. So my superpower is like helping people and all those things. So, oh my gosh, is there a lot of papers in this folder? Hmm. Okay. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. My 
Buzz Lindsay, can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Can why can deaf pe deaf deaf people talk? Why can't deaf people talk? Uh huh. That's a really good question. Um, some deaf some people who are deaf can also speak. Um, it's just it's sometimes it's hard to understand what they're saying. So it's not that that people who are deaf typically people who are deaf can talk. They just can't hear. So it's a problem with with hearing with hearing in their ears. Um, and imagine, so you you know what you sound like because you can hear your own voice. But if you couldn't hear your own voice, especially if you are born deaf and you couldn't hear your own voice, it would be hard to to understand what you're saying, right? And so a lot of times people who are deaf, when they speak, they can make sound, they can make noise, but it doesn't sound the same way that we hear it because they can't hear it themselves. So sometimes it's easier for, for deaf people to speak with their hands, right? And use sign language, which is a really cool language that um, we should learn. Yeah, it looks kind of like that. And it's a really smart thing to learn, even if you're not deaf, it's great to learn sign language. Um, and you can school, become a translator. In fifth grade or sixth grade. They... Yeah, that's a good question though, Antonia. I, I think Des wanted to share something. This is my other my other child, Desmond. Des, what's this, your what's your superpower? This is, my superpower is inventing. And this folder is full like of a bunch of blueprints. You want to show your favorite one? I want to show all of them. Mm. So this one's with my factory. Yeah, I'll open it. Wait, I'm can you open, open this for your sister? I'll hold this one up. Can you open these both for me? Okay. See? Mm -hmm. That's my factory. And then I got this one. Okay. Well, I'm going to send... Uh, camera into a black hole. I got this one, another one of my factory. And I got this one of a type of camera that's going to be in my factory. Okay, so let's let some other kids share. Thank you, Desmond. Does anybody else want to share? Or are you all so hard at work? Looks like everybody's working hard. Where's my green? I sharpened my pencil before I drew. It would be a great superpower to be able to sharpen pencils with like your mind or without a pencil sharpener. Mm -hmm. I have an electric one next to me, so. Or like this, like you put your hand like this and it sharpen. That would be cool. You know, something that I loved about that book, Antonia, I like that you you had questions about um, the deaf part of that book. My, I think my favorite page of that book, if I had to pick, would be the little girl who had dyslexia in that book. Because I am also dyslexic. I have dyslexia. And so what it was really... Is what is dyslexia? It means that it's hard for you to read. Um, it's kind of like the letters get a little bit mixed up. It's it's tricky. It, like they get mixed up in your mind. You can see fine, but when the letters go into your mind, when you look at them, then they get kind of like scrambled up. So reading for me, learning to read was really hard. And I mean, I saw it, once I like a video of a kid with his lots of like trying to read in a movie, and it, like it was like. It was like the nervous, the word started to mix up, like the letter. But actually, my favorite was when they, when the little girl had Down syndrome. Because I have a cousin that he has Down syndrome. Yeah, it's interesting. Everybody is so different, right? In some ways, we're, we're different. We can see. In some ways, we can't see. Like, I don't know that you would notice that I had dyslexia if I didn't tell you. But when I was little, you could definitely tell when I tried to read and write. 
So it makes us all very interesting. Our brains work in different ways and our bodies are all different and work in different ways. And some of us are different from when we're born and some of us change as we get older, you never know. So it's really, it's fascinating. And I think it's really fun to meet people that are different than you and learn how they learn and how their brains and their bodies work. Yes, students. I finished my picture. So basically, I like hiding from my brothers because they're always annoying me, and I also and I'm also very flexible. So I made basically like. Camo Elastigirl, basically. That's awesome, Kate. I love that. I like I like how you're solving a problem with yours, right? That's good to think about problem solving. I thought that was kind of interesting too in that book that we read. Um, everybody was kind of being creative, right? There was all these creative solutions to solving what could have been a problem. Like I'm thinking about the kid who was in the wheelchair, who used a wheelchair, that was his tool, right? That was a, a problem solver. So it's really interesting to find ways that people solve their problems with different tools and different ideas and ways of thinking and doing. Oh Does anybody have anything that they're really proud of? Any anything that they feel like makes them really unique? That I do art. Yeah, that you're an artist. Sure, that's something to be very proud of. That can definitely be your superpower. Mm -hmm. That's definitely not my superpower. I'm the worst at drawing. No. Not the worst. Mm -mm. Do you know that sometimes the things that are the hardest for you, that are the most challenging, can become your superpower? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Like me, I'm going to say that my dyslexia, even being that I was dyslexic when I was little, I thought it was a really big problem. And I was really embarrassed about it and it made things really hard. And sometimes I would get nervous, really nervous about reading or taking a test or like reading out loud to friends because I thought I was going to be made fun of. But now that I've grown up and I've worked really hard to be able to read and write, I feel like it might be my superpower because I think it makes me a little bit more creative and it makes me think in a way that's different than the way that other people around me think. And so I think it's actually my superpower now. It's kind of neat, right? Yeah, because no one here has it. Yeah, it makes me unique. It makes me kind of special. Even though it made it hard when I was little, when, when I worked around it, it made me special. And I like, I, I, Miss Letty, when she was reading, I remember her reading a page about that kid in the wheelchair, that boy in the wheelchair was saying that he has to use a wheelchair because he can't walk but because of his wheelchair, he's super fast, right? So there's uh -huh. something that made him, it makes him different. It makes him even faster than the rest of the kids because he has his wheelchair. So sometimes your superpower can be your, um, can start out as a challenge. So you never know. I see Mr. Sean has glasses. I wonder if that, if he feels like his glasses are his superpower now. <laughs> um, no, I thought my superpower was pancakes. With pancakes? Making pancakes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have to make us pancakes one of these days, Mr. Short. One, one of these days. Blueberry, banana, strawberry. How about Nutella? Do you ever use Nutella in your pancakes? <laughs> Nutella pancakes. Mm. Miss Sarah, I have a question. Yes. How do you say psychologist in English? In English. Psychologist. Okay. When I was little, like not in the little, in my old school in Colombia, I used to have to go there because I 
sometimes in my school when I was like sitting, I just couldn't stay quite like there. I wanted to move. And when I was in there in my school, I always got the communication like medal. Um, and and like for five years in a row because I, I was always telling people in classroom standing up and that's why I had to go there. Thank you for sharing that, Antonia. You know what, in the book that we read, there was somebody who, um, one of the characters I remember said that they had attention deficit disorder and that, that character couldn't sit down or sit still for a long time. And that was one of the characters. And I, I think that you're, it's interesting that a lot of times people who have a hard time sitting down and being quiet in class later on when they grow up they have the energy to do stuff and they can be like really involved and do lots of things at once yeah i i have a touch and deficit disorder and it started off as a challenge when i was little because i also had a lot of issues reading and paying attention to things in school like i would just when i was in school i wouldn't really Okay, everyone, well, we're going to wrap up for today. This is really nice. I think we had some great conversations. Yes, Dariti? Do you guys know what I drew? Sure. Let me see. I drew an artist. Ooh, is that your superpower? Yeah. I love it. I love your smile. Let me show mine. Oh, Maya, that's awesome. I see you running. You running? All right, everyone. Well, I'm going to screen share the flyer for next week. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, so next week, we'll be reading Alma. Alma and how she got her name. Written and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. This is going to be a really exciting. We've done a few. Books. I think I already like saw. I saw that book. I haven't even read it. I think it's a pretty famous book too. I think I've also seen this book before, and I'm excited because we've done a few activities with names before. But um, just come ready, thinking about what. Okay, here's a prompt for, in preparation for next week. How about you all? Um, before next week, here's some homework. Ask your parents, your grandparents, your guardians, how and why they gave you your name. And, and yeah, and then I'm interested to hear how you share your thoughts. And if you have a nickname, right, why you have that nickname. And we'll talk about that next week. Okay. All right, everyone. Well, we'll see you next week. We'll send an email with the information and we hope you all have a great week. Uh, yeah. We hope to see you back next week. It was great having you back, uh, having you on. Okay. Oh, there. I can see it a little bit there. All right. Bye, everyone. I'm going to end the meeting now. Bye, Miss Sarah. Bye. Thank you. Bye.